Building string ostinato can be a quite simple task. We usually start with a, a, with a chord progression, and I have a simple chord progression in the key of A here. Let's listen to it first. So this is our basic chord progression uh, upon which we are going to build our string ostinatos. I have four, four different patterns here. For each of them I have loaded a uh, full ensemble uh, of cinematic strings too. I suggest you use, uh, you build your patterns uh, on individual sections. But for now, uh, an entire ensemble patch will do. Here is a simple, um, here's a simple uh, ostinato pattern. Let's listen to it now. Let's highlight our chord progression draft. As you can see, the pattern is based uh, on the notes of the chords. Uh, if you are a beginner, do not worry about uh, about you know which note of the chord is the root, the third, uh, and the fifth, and which note you should use for your pattern. Just just create a simple pattern of notes that is repeating over and over again across the entire um, uh, entire entire chord progression. For example. Here's, a, here's, here's my pattern, and just add some notes. One, two, and that's it, that's the pattern. Next, you can just copy and paste, paste it a couple more times, and you have a pattern based on the notes of the chords. Just like that. If you want, you can later on uh, transfer this uh, pattern to various strings, like some higher strings. Uh, this is an E. Let's move our A to some bass. This is an F. This goes to G. And this goes back to E. This goes to G. This goes to E. So this is the same pattern, it's just a slight variation. Uh, we've moved, uh, we added some bass line here and we've added some higher, higher notes. Uh, okay, I have a different pattern here. It's a bit simpler. And once again, you can see this pattern is based on the notes of the chords. This time I'm using only two notes from each chord. And again, do not uh, worry uh, about the roots, the thirds and the fifths, just repeat the pattern in a, in a, in a simple, simple way. This pattern is simple as well. There are two notes here, two notes here, and that's it. Only four notes, uh, two notes repeat, repeating. And this pattern is repeated four times. 
And we're done. Another pattern is here. Uh, let's have a listen. This time I'm changing the velocities to add some more dynamics and this pattern is built uh, in higher register than our chord progression but if you move it it's going to fit the notes themselves. Let's listen to it first. Okay, this is the pattern. Let's crop down. As you can see, you we still have the same notes. These notes here are on the note of A. The same note is here. So this has this these are still the same notes as the notes in the chords. If you like, we could actually move it even higher. Let's let's continuous pattern. Uh, we have a C um, okay we well, I'm going to do this later. The velocities. Um, we have a um, C we have a uh, what was e, e E E E E E and we have another A. Let's go down And uh, it slows up right here. Let's try it to fix it because I did not notice that slight mistake. Okay, uh, here and it should be correct now. Okay. Okay. And here we change the the E note to F note. Let's move it down here. We change we've changed what which one we change C. C. Okay. <laughs> okay. We changed A to G, we've changed uh, F to B and this one. Oops. Okay, keep this and here and let's change uh, uh, the it. Okay, and here's our pattern. And we have one more here. Again, a simple, very simple pattern. Uh, again, it is built upon the notes of the chords. Basically, just in all these patterns, just take the notes, take a look at the notes of the chord, figure out a pattern. This could be a pattern because it's a pattern of repeating notes on a note on a chord note on a root note here. We could call it an ostinato. You could you could make it you could add some another note here on another note of the chord. And it's another pattern.
we, you could you can add another note here gives the same pattern over and over again you can then copy this pattern onto another chord and adjust it because the notes have changed copy it to another chord worrying to, uh, well, well not worrying about the, the roots or the verse and uh, copy it to another chord adjust it to fit with the chords and you already have an ostinato pattern played on the strings Alright, so this simple technique of just creating a pattern upon the, the notes of the chords can be used very successfully in your own music compositions.